The Anka-3 unmanned combat aircraft developed by TI made its first flight today. Anka-3 attracts attention with its flying wing design. The Turkish defense industry is continuing its activities in the field of unmanned combat aircraft at a rapid pace. After Bayraktar Kizilelma, good news came today from the Anka-3 unmanned combat aircraft. The Anka-3 vertical tailless turbofan-powered UAV has successfully completed its maiden flight. The first flight of Anka-3, the third member of Thai's unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV family, lasted one hour and 10 minutes. At an altitude of 8,000 feet, Anka-3 reached a speed of 150 knots. On 28 December, at 0838 in the morning, Anka-3 took off from the runway and performed the runway pass test. The flight of Anka-3 was accompanied by Herkush basic trainer aircraft and Anka unmanned aerial vehicle, which were developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries with domestic facilities. Anka-3, a new generation UAV system, will be able to perform many missions such as reconnaissance, surveillance and intelligence, attack with various air-to-ground munitions, prey detection by engaging enemy helicopters, propeller aircraft and UAVs with air-to-air -air munitions, neutralization of enemy RF emitting radars and air defense systems, protection of friendly forces in the air and on the ground, signal and communications intelligence, electronic warfare, operation with other friendly elements and communication relay. The Anka-3 system will be able to carry 650 kilos of ammunition in each of the two stations in the fuselage, 650 kilos in each of the inner wing stations and 100 kilos in each of the outer stations. This makes it possible to integrate a wide range of options, from the most commonly used ammunition in today's unmanned aerial vehicles to large ammunition such as SOMJ, MK-82, and miniature bombs, SDB. Performance data maximum cruise speed, Mach 0.7 base altitude, $40,000 FT. Payload capacity, 1,200 tower to kill. Endurance, 10 hours. Commenting on the first flight of Anka-3, Prof. Dr. Temel Kotil, General Manager of Tay, said, Good luck, God bless our country. We now have a UAV in the sky that the enemy cannot see, but his enemy can see. May God bless you with success. Thanks for watching. Subscribe Defense Lab's YouTube channel for aviation and defense industry news and updates.